the biborate of soda. And you can see the structure of borax here. And you can see the main keynote written in Boric. The child is afraid to urinate, screams before urine. Hot smarting pain in the orifice. So it's a very important remedy for urinary tract infection in children as well as adults. So what is the main thing about borax, which I want to tell you? Let me tell you a little bit about that. The main rubric of borax, which I want you to see is this rubric. Clinging of children. Child awakens, terrified, knows no one, screams and clings to those near him. So you can imagine the state of borax is that of a childlike state. So she is around 60 year old, but she behaves like a child. That is the pattern. That she gets up terrified and she wants someone to cling. And if she doesn't get, she's, she's screaming and shouting, hey, 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 where are you? Where are you? Where are you? It's like a child, no? When a child is born, you can't see the mother. Hey, 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 hey. That's, that's the state. They want to hold on to some kind of support. This is typical from borax. They are very, very attached to a mother-like state. Need not be a mother, but a mother-like state. Mother-like figure. From where they get comfort, security. One of the biggest sensitivity for borax is the fear of separation. And it is often out of proportion. You can imagine a young child who doesn't want to leave the mother to go to school. She knows she should go to the school. Huh? That all her friends are going to the school. But she just can't separate from her mother because she's so attached. But she wants to, but she can't. This is the state. So this fear of separation from, from someone is a very deep pattern of the remedy borax. They can get very easily frightened on slightest situation. So the one of the biggest keynote of borax is startling on sudden noise. This is the big, big, big symptom. They often get a lot of travel sickness and air sickness. So if some patients are very scared of going by aeroplane, remember, could be a borax patient. <clears throat> they can be very delicate, very delicate. And sometimes can also be complaining. That's why they may remind you of Kali, but they are not as evolved as Kali. Kali Kar, Kali Self are much more egoistic. They are, they think beyond themselves. They are thinking about the family members and so on. Some keynotes that we have often seen for borax, their nose can often be red and shiny. They often get apthe in the mouth. This is the this is the number one remedy for apthe in the mouth. When children or even adults get afte in the mouth, remember. They also get hair which are tangled like this. They stick to each other, the hair like this. Okay? Not like my hair, but yeah. They can often get allergic eczema on the face and scalp. It's a major, major, big remedy for urinary tract infection. The burning and the pain is especially more before the urination. The hands and feet are very hot to touch. 
<clears throat> are you all with me and are you all getting a little idea say yes so i know that we are together You can just say da. Okay. Now, there are some more things which I want to talk to you about, about borax. Borax, remember, has carbon, an element of carbon. And we saw this, right? We saw this in the, you can see here, right? I hope you can see the, 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 the salt, no? It has sodium, right? It has, of course, biborate. It has oxygen. It has hydrogen. Now, why all this I'm talking about? We will, I will discuss about this, how every element is important to understand deeper patterns. Because every element has one particular pattern associated with it. And in a salt, and it is a salt, right? When you see more than one compound, it's a salt. Then there are many patterns connected to each other. In my life, the patients who I saw with borax, one of the very important thing that I often heard, very often heard, are these four words it's, it's a very big confirmatory for me and you know the idea to do this entire course is not to just tell you what's written in books but also share with you the real clinical language the real patient's expression what the patient exactly says so the borax patients that i saw very often said that doctor in the most stressful situation, my legs feel very unstable. They feel wobbly. They feel trembling. I feel as if there is no ground below my feet. I feel totally unstable. This is very important. Two words that there, my leg feel wobbly. And as if there is no ground, I feel ungrounded. Nothing to stabilize. This is something that I've seen so often. And when I heard these words, I'm thinking about this group of remedies, which we will talk about. Not only borax, but other remedies. But what I want to talk to you about borax. The biggest symptom of borax, which of course we know in our homeopathic materia medica, and all of you know this, is fear of falling from high place. It's like a child who's scared of a merry-go-round, right? The the giant wheel. You imagine if if we go on a giant wheel and look down. This is the lot of fear. This is the symptom of borax. They cannot, they cannot. But let's go a little deeper and understand a very, very deep pattern of borax. Is that borax has this fear of falling down on one side and on another side, they also have the impulse to go down. So, so they want to do something. They want to get out of this dependency to this mother-like state. But they are not able to. This is the state of borax. <clears throat> so what you will see more and more with borax is there is a kind of a brittleness in their pattern, almost remind, reminding you of thuja. And interestingly, borates and borax, borates are used in glass manufacturing. This is interesting because the feeling of brittleness is very strong in borax. 
there's a lot of insecurity. There is a lot of need to cling to parents or wife or son or someone on one side and on another side, they also want to separate and they also want to be on their own. So this is the state, you know, it's a state of conflict. Although they are more clingy, they are more insecure, they want to attach. But on the other side, they want to just separate. They want to just start, hey, hey, let me, let me. But no, 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 hey, hey, oh, no. You can see. So very nicely, you could see a kind of a conflict between cowardice, fear on one side, and a state of man-like state, which is more like wanting to develop one's own ego and so on. So very often, patients who require borax, you will see a state of anxiety, fear, panic. Very important word is confusion. And another important word is hesitation. You will see this. The separation from their family and especially from their parents, they are very hesitant about and they are very indecisive about. And at a deeper level, there's a lot of panic and a lot of feeling of, you will see them being very, very naive. This is Borax. Now, one or two more symptoms which I want to tell you, which is very important. It's one of the very important remedy. And there is a, a lot of research done on infertility and sterility in women. And one of the biggest remedies for infertility is borax. It's the biggest remedy along with natrum carbonicum. Yeah. Remember this very, very important, both of them. And one another symptom that you will see many patients with borax having is they tell you that, doctor, whenever I press any part of the body, I, uh, uh, I get an eructation. Pressing the part of the body, uh, eructation. So this is a confirmatory clinical symptom that you will see in borax also. <clears throat> so this is a little bit of the idea of borax, which we 